Here we go. Yep. <clears throat> we Like Dota is brought to you by our generous patrons. Find out how to help support the show at welikedota.com and follow the links to the Patreon. We Like Dota, episode 59, starts now. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to We Like Dota. This is We Like Dota, the Internet's casual Dota 2 podcast. I'm Brian Saboninger, and joining us on this wonderful evening is Jared Clyde Frog Pedersen. How's it going, Jared? <laughs> hey, Brian. Welcome back to the United States of America. Yes, it's good to be back. Uh, also joining us is Ben Yadnep Day. What's going on, Ben? Hey, Brian. Hope you had a good time in Europe. Uh, yeah, I'm not physically jet lagged, but. Uh, I feel uh, I feel mentally jet lagged. What does that mean? <laughs> I feel really dumb right now. Long story short, this is going to be a good episode, guys. More dumb than usual. More dumb. Yeah. Than We're recording usual. late okay. on a Monday, so Ben's going to get super salted. Super salted. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm getting close to my bedtime. I'm getting kind of cranky. Brian's all weird and tired. Speaking of super salty, <laughs> we have our uh, chief senior executive producer, uh, Cheeks of Flapping. How's it going, Cheeks? It is going great. It's good to be back on the show. Wow, you sound really nice. <laughs> well, better thank than all you. Of us. The Skype thing's a better choice. Is that what you guys are using? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Cheeks said, hey, let's uh, let's get on Skype. It sounds a lot better. And I said, all right, let's give it a shot. It sounds and delicious. I thought he was in the room with us. Yeah, it's much better. It sounds You thought real that good. we did nothing, yeah. but Cheeks and I tested out Skype while you were gone. <laughs> yeah. And that, that's been successful so Yeah, far. I was impressed. You guys got that done. You said you were going to do an, do an episode, but that didn't pan out. Yeah. Do no, what? That didn't no, happen. No, that's fine. No, that's all right. That's fine. So, I tried to make it happen. It didn't happen. Yeah, he, he, he did, actually yeah. was very assertive. He, he even said, I think at one point, Cheeks said to me, hey, Ben, we're on Skype. Why don't we just do the episode right now? Mm. And I said, I, what did I say, Cheeks? I just think I don't think I even responded. You said, <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> I'm going to go play Bloodborne now. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that, probably. But he I, said, you do it. And I was like, okay. Yep. So he did. No, go ahead. I, I was no, trying I to I explain the finer details of how the technical stuff of getting an episode of the show on the internet works. And it is crazy complicated. I felt like I didn't care yeah. anymore at that point. And I'm glad you do. <laughs> I feel like I don't even care. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for doing that, Brian. Yeah, yeah. Thank, yeah, I do. I did gain appreciation for what you do. <sighs> if that's anything. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. It's a lot of work. Uh, anyway, guys, let's... Uh, Let's get into the show here, and let's start off the show as is tradition. The new tradition. The new tradition with Dota <laughs> Feelings. Come on. Wait for it. It's not going, guys. I'm clicking on the new... I'm using this new thing, and it's not... <laughs> See, now it's not even... Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want me to sing it? Do you want me to sing the bumper? No, it's, it's going. <laughs> oh, look at oh, okay. Oh, look at <laughs> yeah, we need to... <laughs> I got the blue spinning wheel. The program wasn't responding. <laughs> oh, I don't. Too many monitors. You just need somebody else to push the button. That's what I really. I think to. I really do. I've never had a problem I need pushing to, the button. I need to getting, outsource that you know, crap. Control that. Yeah, we do need to get it outsourced. We'll have cheeks do it in the future. All right. So anyway, this is Dota Feelings, where we talk about how Dota made us feel this week. Right. And uh, I'm gonna start with. Uh, I'm gonna start with Jared. Oh. Okay. Mm. Um. Dota has made me feel a whole host of emotions this past week. Wow. Wow. A host. Uh, yeah. Um, oh. We, we ended up playing a little bit uh, as as kind of a team, kind of a not. Um, what is, Diddy's explain like an, that. Diddy's what that like mean? an honorary member of the team. So. Yeah, we have like yeah. 15 so, stand-ins, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Friend of the show, Diddy Mitch, joined us. We're ready yeah, for high-level competitive play. We have a whole <laughs> team of stand-ins. Yeah. That yes. are better than us. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But uh we won a couple games, we lost a couple games. It went well and then um then it didn't. Yeah, so it was it was good <laughs> and bad, but overall a, a good time playing. But in general, Dota has made me feel really really good. Wow. And wow. we will, we will get Whoa, to that. Whoa, that never happens. We will get to that as our first news item. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's like a, a it's little a pre. Tease. It's a pre's new. It's a pre little, little bit of a teaser. A tease, yeah. but yes, Dota's been Dota's been good to me this past week. Okay, great. How about you, Ben? 
Uh, Dota was just kind of strange this week. It was a weird week for Dota, I think. Yeah. I, I only played a little bit of Dota, and what I played was, I think, with the team. I think it was mostly mm-hmm. what I played, if not all of what I played. And just because of the, the makeup of who we had playing that night, I was on support, which isn't something that happens very often for me. Yeah, but you only played two games, right? I only played two games. And you won both of the games. I won both of the games. I was lagging like crazy because I think my wife was watching, I don't know, have locked some, up on Netflix or something. You have some something. serious internet issues. I must there, have ben. some internet I've de- issues. I've decided. It was, it was really bad. She's probably streaming three or four things, probably. I don't think so. She, I don't think she knows like, how to do that. Is she downloading porn? <laughs> I don't think she was doing that either. I'm pretty sure she was watching like Locked Up or something. Yeah, oh, that's probably. She really right. likes that show. I like those. Sh- Your wife and I have you guys, very similar likes. Yeah, it was TV either that. Is that or a like, crime show? I don't know. It's is that about, like a true it's crime about, show. My wife watched those all the time. All it's like a is documentary it series about dudes in jail. Yeah, oh. it was lagging. We need to do a fix Yadnub's internet campaign like we did for Chief. <laughs> Seriously. But it, so it was kind of laggy, so I was getting frustrated. But here, here is my, my thinking process for only playing a couple games. So we were we were rolling through the first two games. Like, we just steamrolled yeah. the other team that we were playing both it was times. Nice. And and my thought with Dota is I, I, I don't want to press my luck, so I don't want to play too <laughs> many games of Dota. Because what happens is you have a good game or two of Dota, and you start to feel like that's what Dota is like. Yeah, no. And so true. then when you have <laughs> then when you have the bad game, it just totally crashes you. Yeah. So, so you're was, like I the was, guy at the craps table who's like, "Oh, I better stop while I'm ahead." Yeah, it was kind of like that. So I could just sometimes I'll quit because we're doing bad, and I know it's only going to get worse. Yeah. yeah. This time I'm like, you know what? I think I'm going to quit now because I have to imagine it's only going to go down from here because we're. We're doing pretty well. I had a pretty good game on Lich the second game. You did, man. Had some good... Uh, Have you been playing support some more? I never play support. Jared just put me on oh. support, but it worked okay. out. So, like, what's what's Lich's ultimate ability? Because I don't ever play chain, Lich. Chain Frost. Chain Frost. Chain so Frost. I got some, so some, some, some really cool clutch Chain Frosts off and some, true. True. to save some people, and we turned some fights around. So I'm like, man, that was probably the best game I'm going to play tonight. So rather than uh, than kind of push my luck, I'm to, I'm going to check out. And then you guys lost horribly. Yeah, the next two games are awful. So, and it's not—I'm not saying that yeah. to take credit for it, but I'm just saying that to say that I stepped out at the right time because I'm sure mm. they would have lost even yeah. if I was there. So, yeah. So, but Dota. So, just yeah, just kind of a neutral. I, I would say pretty good for Dota, and then uh, and Dota felt more positive. I've been playing Bloodborne, where all you do is die, and and then you like get a little <laughs> bit further and you die like in a different place than you died last time. It's so like or a, a different it's way, like a roguelike type game. And well, it's kind of its own thing. It's its okay. own thing. I think you could use that term and not be entirely wrong. Okay. Um, yeah. But I don't think most people would describe. I haven't u- seen that term used to describe it. But you just okay. you die a lot. It's just a game where you're going to lose more than you win by far. So I think Dota being a game that you can have some rough, rough goes at is it just it just it felt a little bit easier compared to Bloodborne. I think so. Right, it was maybe fair. a little bit more enjoyable experience than i usually have playing dota when it's just frustrating but we also we just we destroyed the teams we played yeah it, it was, was it was like 35 or something to five but like both both games that we played so yeah that that was the illustrious bane mid that and i we, was telling i think you, you were playing won. bane mid okay yeah, he played bane mid it went well i think we won both games definitely before like the 35 minute mark at the yeah, very they least were, and stuff so. every game i played that night was very quick it was a really why i played five games yeah so you played a bunch of games so i just i just got out while i was ahead but i, I enjoyed it games. i had some fun it was like in an hour and a half, it Dang. felt like. Yeah, it yeah. probably well, you guys probably played quite a bit after I left. So that's my Dota feelings. Now, how are your European feelings? Well, oh, I yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't obviously I didn't play any Dota while I was in Europe. Okay. Um Did you uh, oh, here's my question. I'm gonna yeah. change my question. Okay. I don't want to hear about your vacation. I do, but I'm gonna change my question anyways. <laughs> well, I had a story. Everyone else doesn't want to. I had a story prepared, but I'll answer well, your question. I, let me ask my question, then you can do whatever you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> so my question is as a as a host of a uh-huh moderately successful podcast yeah for dota 2 uh-huh. tell me about your dota 2 experience or observations of the european culture mm. did you run into any dota 2 yeah um did not run into any dota 2 you saw no dota 2 i saw none there of were it. no yeah. like pictures of puck on any kind of restaurants or anything no i didn't see any of the sort because because no. the rumor is that europe is way more into esports than we are yeah i uh is I, that false i didn't even see like any gaming stuff anywhere okay e- 
Well, from I what I understand, go ahead. from what my wife has told me, is that Europeans like to kind of keep to themselves. Like, I'm a pretty friendly guy when I'm walking down the street. I'll smile at somebody. My wife said, when we go to Europe this summer, don't do that. Because people yeah. don't do that. And I've been they to Europe. It it's, it's different in some ways than that. That's true. Um, yeah. So I think they, they, they do like it. They just keep it to themselves more. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So do you think you... How many Dota... Okay, let's change the question. Then. Okay. Yep. How many Dota 2 fans do you think you walked past on the street without knowing it? Because you apparently never oh, knew. Oh, yeah. Um, well, I passed... Did you just get a sense? You're like, that guy really likes to play Axe. I that did, yeah. That guy looks yeah, like Pudge. Because that guy I, looks like Pudge. The, I, I have a theory. I think that the Dota players... Um, there's got to be more more people who are maybe Dota players just that have not been discovered yet. <laughs> okay, you think there's a higher concentration of people who could potentially be Dota players? I do. Yeah. Okay. Um, and my reasoning okay. behind yeah, what that gives support is, your argument? Uh, well, first of all, the realize uh, we have European listeners. So you yeah, might be yeah. offending them right now. Oh, I look. I only have good things to say. Uh, well, first of all, um, everything about Europe is far more logical. Than okay. the United States. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And you have to be very logical when you play Dota 2. Okay. Okay. That's all right. Number. That's all a right. good argument. Argument mm-hmm. number two. Okay. Uh, food is very plentiful. Okay. And uh, it just keeps coming at a very cheap. It, it, everything's pretty cheap. What's the Dota connection here? Uh, you can you can carbo load a lot easier for long late night <laughs> gaming sessions. Which is apparently important, is what you're saying. Oh, it's okay. vastly important. Okay. I would agree with that. And that's half of point two. So. The other half is. Uh, you can buy great alcohols for not a lot of money. Over okay. There. And we think there's a connection to strong Dota play and alcohol. Clearly. Well, more enjoyable Dota play. Yeah. Okay. Well, I believe it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, but that, that's really all I have. Uh, realistically, uh, I have basically ignored Dota for the last two weeks. Oh, which you're supposed to. You're on yeah. vacation. That's fine. Right. Yeah. Um, so, okay. Here's my story. Here's my, here's my Dota feeling story. Okay. Right, European right. vacation feeling story. <laughs> Um, so we were leaving uh, uh, Salzburg, Austria, mm-hmm. Österreich, as it's called in uh, Auf Deutsch. Impressive, yeah. And uh, so we we are we are heading to uh, Lyon, France. Okay. And we had to take a tra- we had to take multiple trains overnight. That's awesome. We uh, we left at like seven or eight p.m. and arrived in Lyon at like. 2 p.m. the next day. Still falling. You're on a train. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. That's a lot many, of many, many hours. Many hours on and a train. And we had a layover. We had a like a connection. We had to connect uh, to another train in uh, Karlsruhe, uh, Germany. Not as strong on the name on that one. Yeah. I, I'm not entirely sure if that's what it was. <laughs> I, I could tell there was a lack of confidence. Yeah, but there's, we, we had their train out. station there. And most train stations that are larger, and this is, this is their central train station, so we thought it was larger, have like a waiting room that's, you know, nice and heated. Okay. Um, sure. But this is a completely, basically open air train station, and uh, there was nowhere heated for us to sit. Oh, was it, was it cold? It was freaking cold. Okay. <laughs> it had to have been low thirties. Mm-hmm. All right. Maybe low forties. I don't know. So about Fahrenheit. two or three Burr. degrees. So I'm it guessing that you learned yeah. something from Dota that kept you warm. No. Okay. Stop trying to bring Dota into this podcast. Well, you said this was a Dota um, podcast. And we had about a... Sure. Our train was delayed about 50 minutes. And we were freaking Ugh. out because we thought it was going to delay the rest of our trains. But we wound up being okay. The oh, rest of our nice. connections. And so we're sitting in this waiting room... Or uh, this kind of lobby area that's kind of Not open very air. warm waiting area. Basically Freezing at glor- lobby. At a glorified picnic table. There's bums a couple tables over just sitting there, you know, sleeping or whatever. That's okay, though. And I'm just kind of watching these guys. And all of a sudden, you know, you're sitting in, like, glorified lawn chairs, basically. They're, like, <laughs> nice... They're, it's outdoor furniture. Okay. Over there. All of a sudden, I see, like, what I thought was water dripping from this guy's chair. Oh, no. No, he peed himself. He peed himself, Ben. Yeah. The freaking bum peed himself. And he had to have been high or something, right? Because you, no. you don't just sleep and, and pee yourself. You might, right? right? Maybe. I don't um, know. Not often. I don't know. Every time <laughs> I've evacuated upon myself, I've been altered. <laughs> <laughs> Good. But, That's a story for another time. And there was these kids walking around just kicking a can around and shouting really loudly. Okay. Clearly, That could have caused yeah. the pee, I guess. And, yeah, uh, no, that's possible. I don't know. Do these kids have these kids clearly have nothing better to do than so to walk around a train station? Is the Dota so connection that stuff. these kids should be playing Dota Probably be playing of Dota. kicking cans and making old people pee themselves? No Dota connections, but uh, a German train station at four in the morning is really weird. Okay, well, is that? <laughs> I'll take that as a vacation story. Yeah, that's an interesting one. 
That's all I got. Okay. Uh, Cheeks, how uh, how has Dota made you feel this week? Well, uh, I don't really know if I can compare to that story, but I did take mm-hmm. a take a week, one of these weeks that we haven't been having a regular show, mm-hmm. yeah. and I played Le Shrek that whole week. Uh, and I am so sad that I missed this. I love Le Shrek. Le Shrek. I wanted to play with your Le Shrek. I did play a couple games with him as Le Shrek. I forgot that happens. How'd it go? It was funny. Well, yeah, some okay. of them were successful. Uh, the one I played with Ben, I got accused of losing the game because I'm the support. <laughs> they did, a, they did but I took all of Ben's farm. Yeah, they. It probably should have been my fault because I don't think I got any farm. Hmm. But they blamed yeah. Cheeks instead. They said it's all a Shrak's fault. It's all a Shrak's yeah. fault. Yeah. That I didn't I was, get farm. So they were defending me. I just kept silent. I probably could have defended Cheeks. I'm sorry, Cheeks. I can't imagine yeah. you just staying silent. I just I kept silent. I didn't want to play. I didn't want to play into the the flame war. Yeah. But they just blamed, but it they blamed me, Cheeks for me not getting farm, which is the first time I've ever had somebody defend me as a carry because the support didn't do well. And I thought you actually played fine. I don't so think wait, it was Cheeks your fault. Is, I Cheeks, think I did great, Cheeks actually. taking all this flack, and you didn't say anything? I didn't say it. It didn't even stick check. up. Gosh, man. I don't usually just say anything in general. mute, as he usually does. Wow. Yeah, I just yeah, I, didn't, I didn't change my behavior because I always sit mute. Right? So it was consistent that's, with my normal behavior. That's true. That seems a little... I don't so would know. Would you wish I would have defended you, Cheeks? No, I mostly ignored it too. Yeah. I knew what I was doing. I, I was split I don't pushing. He, yeah, I don't think he got into. A I was with. The, I had the build with the uh, boots of travel. Oh yeah, and then you know I was just yeah. like in the ags, and I was just you know switching from lane to lane, uh, pushing, yeah. just keeping the push going. So I think good. I think we both ignored but, the feedback. I think if Cheeks would have gotten into a verbal sparring match, I would have backed him up. Yeah, but I don't. Think but I'm really, not that. Never, I'm not that kind. Neither of guy. one of us is like we're just chill dudes. We okay, just, we yeah. just took it easy. Yeah. So. Okay. I got recognized on in a pub match Very good. by player Tupac. 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 You know, so it's like Tupac only. Yeah. Or Tupac only with Puck. I like that one. And he said That's he said, Puck, Are you the are you the guy from that one noob podcast? <laughs> that talk about? <laughs> so like yeah, I recognize like they found him. That just happened to us a couple times. Yeah. Which is always weird. Yeah, it's totally weird. And and then so, people yeah. are, are probably thinking to themselves, "You guys are as bad as you say you are." That's weird. I don't know how I feel about that. You haven't had that happen yet. No, no. They said, "Oh yeah, I've listened to your podcast." Are you, are you the guys? From are you that, guys that from, from that, that one podcast? And from we, that yeah. noob podcast? I guess we are noob. noob podcast. Pod- we are noob. Pod- oh, we're never that. casual. Yes, I yeah. embrace that. That's fine. We're we're not we're not Dota as a way of life, people. We're a Dota Dota as a pastime. People. We're a Dota yeah. as a feeling. That's a very people. good point. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You know, uh, I had a really good time uh, doing some coaching on our tryhard night, which was fun. Yeah, you did great. Uh, again, you're so man. good at it. Yeah. Had a had a fun draft with uh, who did we have? We had Sniper. We had Jared on Tusk. We had yeah, that uh, weird one. Kyle on Spirit Breaker. Yeah, that was which great, he'd never by done the way. before, but he had a great time. I knew it was totally Kyle's thing. Was I, I was on like, Lich that match? I yeah, think. I think you were. On Lich uh, that match. Yeah, you were. That was the Lich match. That was such and a weird match. It should not have worked, but it worked. Kyle really excels well. on heroes yeah, that have great. an escape mechanism, and mm-hmm. Spirit Breakers is great because you can almost go anywhere on the map. Yeah, but of course he did charge into places he shouldn't even after the. Well, that, see, that's why I picked yeah. it for him because I was like, I knew he'd put himself in ridiculous situations, right, like beyond has- what he usually does. Spear break so I was break hoping it also. would. Yeah. I was hoping it would. It would. As a teacher, I was hoping that it would amplify his mistakes, <laughs> and then he'd be like, "Oh, maybe I shouldn't be out of position." So, so it kind of backfired a little bit. Well, a little bit, but it worked. He didn't feed too much. Yeah, yeah, he didn't feed Not, too much. There were much. ample opportunities for us to say, "Kyle, don't do that." Kyle, Kyle, don't do that. Don't charge that guy. There was yeah. lots of that. Yeah, but at least when you see him charging, you can say, "Cancel the charge, jackass!" Right. <laughs> <laughs> you have a little bit of time. Yeah, and well, Spearbreaker. And I think it actually, it helped out because then he'd like end up in the mid lane and help out in mid lane. Yeah, exactly. And Spearbreaker is wonderful too because early on he has like the the highest effective EHP uh, or effective hit points because he yeah. has he's. The, got the highest starting strength, so he's got the start, yeah. highest starting hit points. But then he also has like four armor. That's true. It's nice. So like, he's pretty he has tanky. Crazy. Well, and he's good early. Yeah. He's points. good early game, which is probably when yeah. Kyle gets in trouble. So yeah, yeah, that's mm-hmm. true. Yeah. Denny Mitch is reminding me that Kyle said to me when we were drafting, he's like, I've never played Spirit Breaker. And I just said, well, have fun. <laughs> you did say that. That was yeah. my advice to him. Which and I then Jared actually gave him what he should build on. I, yeah. I think that goes against Jared's number one rule of drafting with people is you want to pick people they're familiar with. Yeah, it but was. at the no, same I, time, I, I really like yeah. Cheeks, uh, what, he, what he was thinking there is of Knowing knowing the player and knowing a hero oh, yeah. and knowing that that player will excel on the hero. Yeah. No, yeah. Cheeks has I a completely like different set of he rules. He connected the dots. It was great. Yeah, it worked yeah. out well. 
Okay. So. Well, there you have it. Um, our yeah. skill level, you can still, if you just pull up a guide and follow it to a T, you're probably going to do okay. Yeah. In yeah. a lot of, t- a lot of cases. We're not good enough to even have that matter that much. Yeah. No, knowing how to play a character doesn't make that big a difference. Yeah. A lot of times. So, okay. So, as, as great as our past week in Dota has been. Which is a pretty good one, it sounds like. Uh, Jared, tell us what has made it even What's the better. highlight of Let's your Let's talk about Dota the week. highlight of the week here, Jared. By far the best part of all of our weeks in Dota yeah. is that we secured tickets to TI. Yeah. yeah that's a- we, se- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we secured our tickets to the International. Yeah, we did. Which I was, was pretty exciting because yeah. I, I didn't think we would necessarily get them. So. Yeah. Um, but you were, you were a finger on the trigger ready to go. Yeah, oh, no, yeah. I, and I got damn lucky after reading Sounds everything like it, yeah. on Reddit. So the, the funny <laughs> thing is, he was so he was researching because he was, I think, still not believing he got tickets. He yeah. said a lot of people were getting what you described as difficult captchas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Like five or six word captchas. Yeah, some really some really <laughs> tough captchas. And I guess if you failed those captchas, it would like put you back in the queue or something. Right, yeah. It. Oh man. So, the preamble to the constitution. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty captions. much. So mine was like which it, if, it was people, a pretty maybe, maybe not everybody that. knows what a captcha is, but it's that little security image that pops up to make sure you're a human that you have to fill in for some websites. <laughs> yeah. And so some people got some difficult versions of that that they either right. couldn't read or were too <laughs> difficult, too captures. difficult to spell, some or they just made be, a mistake. Or well, yeah. some of them, it's hard to tell if the, a letter is a number sometimes. Yeah, no, yeah, that's yeah, so like wacky. That too. Everyone that I was seeing it was like a phrase, which was really interesting. Yeah, it sounds like mm. they used some harder ones. So, but yeah. yeah, so we've got we've got tickets. So yeah, the situation Sheeks was going to meet us there. The situation mm-hmm. was so bad that Esports Express made an article about it. About the captcha thing. Well, no, about uh, about, about getting tickets. tickets. Yeah, the article was called uh, "Valve Introduces Ranked Ticketmaster." <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I believe it. I, I honestly still am just blown away that. And it, then we thought about worked. we thought about just selling yeah. our tickets because the. The you resale did, value. You is, did bad. Oh, I think Jared windfall. considered it too. I considered it for about two minutes. I, think. I probably considered it longer yeah. than that, but yeah, because you, know, you could. I'm like, hey, we can just pay for our trip next time if we sell these. If we're able to get tickets next. Yeah, time. if we can get yeah. tickets. Yeah. That's <laughs> right. Well, and that's and that's your logic. They need to move it to Safeco Field next year. That, so. I'm thinking yeah. next year it's got to be at Safeco next year. Yeah, so like seven thousand tickets. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, but it's gonna be it's gonna be the four of us. Plus a friend of the show, Josh. Yeah. Yeah. Should be exciting. So I think we're going to try and do uh, some video blog type things. Yeah, we're going to do some sort stuff. of a content. We might try to get press passes, but we haven't really looked into it. So Yeah, who knows? Yeah. So look, well, let's. We're going to do something. So should we move into the rest of the news? Well, hold on. I want to make Go a ahead, request here yeah, first. Of course. So I want to make a request uh, for people who are interested in what sort of content we would have. I'm going to put up a thread on the We Like Dota oh, subreddit. Good. And it's going to be uh, suggestions for uh, we like Dota's TI five content. I, I like that. So, we'll great just idea. we'll maybe put a little this bit of a, around. Yeah, the disclaimer on that is we are fr- flying across the country, so anything that involves lots of equipment is probably out of the picture. Yeah, something something we can do light. Like if you're really interested in what's going on in the secret shop, should we try and s- secretly videotape <laughs> you know, shopping <laughs> right. in the secret shop? Right, right. Or you know, do you want us to try and get interviews with players or whatever? Exactly. I think we should definitely we should at least try to have do all a, that. We stuff. should do a meetup for sure. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Oh gosh, yeah. Go hang out at a bar somewhere and suck down some whiskey. Sounds fun. Oh yeah. Well, hold then, on. No, okay. not all Dota Holding. players are old, old guys like us. Well, maybe we we'll go to uh, considerations. A root beer. Well, bar since or it's something. at the Seattle Center, we'll go to the little theme park there. Yeah, you live no, in that, I you live in that area. We'll meet up on the. We'll meet up on the monorail and we'll just ride the monorail back. <laughs> I actually like that I'm the in. best. That sounds fun. I kind of like the monorail meetup thing. <laughs> I was gonna say we go to a milk bar, but I like, monorail. I like the monorail. Monorail, the monorail meetup. We'll <laughs> monorail. Like I don't know. We'll, we'll figure out something. <laughs> the first time I went to Seattle, I rode the monorail. When I got back, I had mono. <laughs> not you're oh, not no. selling me on it. Were you That's... kissing strange girls on the monorail? Mm, oh no, I think it's just purely the the fact what, that I were you all? kissing no. the monorail. monorail. Mm, yeah, I was so happy to see it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, cheeks. I think we're gonna kick you out, and then we'll bring you back at the end of the show. All righty. All right. Oh hey, I'm giving away a copy today. Oh, yeah, this yeah, week's yeah. game in honor of uh, Brian's European sojourn oh. and his return. Mm-hmm. We are giving away a copy of a European ass game. This is The Witcher 2 <laughs> Assassin of Kings Enhanced oh, wow. Edition. Wow, that's, oh, a, that's the, a good giveaway. Ladies and gentlemen, the Enhanced Edition. 
The enhanced edition. Well, if you've played, that mean? If you've played any of the Witcher games, they always have like twelve different versions of that game. Oh yeah, there's a lot. Well, this is a European ass game uh, that we're giving away so, this week. Okay. So. Is it is an enhanced edition nice then? I would think it's probably yeah. good. I don't know Additional if it's the best. Content, there might be folks. an ultimate edition or yeah. something. Oh, yeah. someone just said, "Why didn't we get Euro Truck Simulator?" That would have been uh, a uh, very uh, European ass uh, game. Yeah. Good yeah. point. Thank yeah, you. Valid. Twitch. Valid. Well, that's why we have our fans so they can correct us. All right. But All right. Anyway, before we move on to the we're new not ready to move on. Cheeks. I just want to make a note here, Ben. I can already tell that you are so tired because you have <laughs> taken over the show. <laughs> Is that what happens when yeah. you get tired? Oh, you, you start yeah. pushing. Start this, pushing. This is what happens during Noobs Ask Noobs. Oh, yeah. yeah I always yeah. get impatient. I'm impatient earlier yeah. at this point. <laughs> this is going to be so great. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So are we ready to move on to the news? I've been ready. <laughs> okay. All right. Cheeks, we'll see you at the end of the show for Noobs Ask Noobs. All righty. We'll see Here you, Cheeks. Thanks, Cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Ben. I just had to point that out. I'm not. I'm not easily offended. You're okay, fine. Yeah. All right. Anyway, let's talk about the news. Um, okay. So Jared, there was news in Dota. There was some news. Okay. Yes. Well, we took like seven weeks off. So I know. And uh, Jared, you're gonna have to help me out with some of this. Uh, but uh, I have here that there were some changes made to the Navi roster. Oh, we're, I didn't know that. What do you got? Yeah. I texted you about that. Oh, oh yeah, but I didn't know that name of the person. You have to yeah, explain yeah, yeah. more of so, what's going on. So Go Black, the, the when they replaced their um, two supports that left, they yeah. replaced it with FNG and Go Black. Mm-hmm. I think I fr- didn't know he was on the team, but he's gone now. Yeah, they kicked him right the hell out because he just got there, right? Yeah. So who's replacing relatively Seneco, who who is from uh, Power Rangers? Oh, so is Power Rangers like a Navi feeder team now. It's starting to become that. <laughs> uh, are they but, owned? Are they owned by the same person? Is no. my scandal coming to truth? No, no. no. But uh, also, they 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 snaked the DK Phobos from uh, Asus oh, Polar. Okay, yeah, good so, player, very good player. Yeah, very good player. So okay, since I am mostly not understanding who any of these people are, what did this do for Navi's power ranking? Uh, it was already in the crapper, and it's still in the crapper. <laughs> so not enough. No, yeah. Do you think better chemistry? Is that why they're doing it? Um, I think the fact that Go Black is... He's always had like uh, the, this kind of air about him where he he's a very unique kind of mind in the game. Where it's similar to me was where that, he has great dang- ideas. But that was dangerous for Navi? Or? I just don't think it, it executed well. Okay. Um, hmm. So uh, I just don't think it... The team is as a whole is in a good spot at all. No, they've been struggling. They've been struggling a lot. They just they haven't been able to find their rhythm as a team. Yeah, they've just been really kind of just disjointed do, and. Ugh. Do they yeah. get an invite to uh, Ti still? Oh God, think, no, no. You think they won't? Even with the, the legacy that they've had. With no, TI. they they will. No, them and Alliance both will not be getting invites. Wow, when are the, when's, this, when's this announced for sure? I would imagine qualifiers will probably start in May, so mm. they have to I come out before qualifiers. Any, any, any time. Yeah, yeah. Any time. I, w- I would, I would expect the next month yeah. we'll we'll know the actual direct invites. So we'll find yeah. out, I guess. So. But yeah, no, I do not anticipate either one of those hmm. getting a direct invite because they they didn't get in based on merit last year, and certainly not this year. That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. If, I mean, Alliance they did, did. I don't think I realized right? they had not last year. Yeah. I think, I think Alliance, Alliance got a direct invite. I would think the yeah. champion for the previous year is going to get an invite. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good I th- point. I think, I, so. I think they probably do that every time. Yeah, I think that's that, that makes sense. Eh. Alliance. Newbie might not get a direct invite. New, what the hell happened to Newbie? They fell off. Well, right? you well, know, shall said, yeah. Well, yeah. And they haven't <laughs> been playing anything. Yeah, exactly. They haven't been yeah. playing much. Well, they just announced a new roster, I think, didn't they? Well, yes. Um, All these changes. I yeah, can't I can't up keep up with them. But yeah, it's crazy. Hmm. Yeah, they had they had a uh, how how came. Yeah, I think it was. Was it how? Or? I don't know. I don't know. Well, who knows? Maybe yeah. maybe Valve is going to pick based on the best teams, which is probably the I, I hope so. Probably how they should do it I at hope this so. point in time, yeah. at least. Alliance has been playing well. The they past, have been the playing much better. So. They have been yeah. playing much better. It's like a f- new, fresh team. It's like where is where is this alliance coming from? I still think Dota's best suited to follow players and not teams. I, I tend to agree. I don't know how I feel about that, but it's I think it's the truth. Yeah. Well. Yeah, yeah. But they're, the players retire so early, so I don't know. Exactly. So, I mean, there's a lot of turnover. It's kind of interesting. But, mm-hmm. yeah, I think at this point, it's just kind of what it is. And yeah. I think the international might be less of a big deal this year. 
just because because not having those big teams in. I don't know. Hmm. No, I we'll don't disagree. See. I don't think anything can live like, up to last year's. Uh, yeah, last year was so crazy. Well, and it came out of nowhere, I think, that it was such it was a, a big, big deal. Surprise. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the sport's still that popular. That I think it it'll be, be a big deal yeah. this year because you, you still have like the... Not that it won't be a big deal, but... yeah. I guess my guess is that the prize pool might be lower. Now the tickets mm. for this event yeah. sold out like crazy, so I could be wrong. But I just I just wonder if they can match what they did last year. I don't think there's any way that they can match no? what happened okay. last year. So Jared's on the same page as I me. think they will. I think the production quality will be better. There's more players. I would player, agree with that. There's more well, players yeah, playing the game. That. I would agree with that, yeah. And that's a big that's a big part of it, I think. Um and I think there's it is. I think there's more hype surrounding um I think there's better storylines going into this TI than last year. What I would it, definitely agree with that. And I think that's yeah. a very, very, very good thing. That's good. The I rivalry think... between Team Secret and Evil Geniuses mm-hmm. and Cloud9. It's going to have to do with the good. hats. I think the hats is probably what it boils down to. Because I think you and I were talking about how do they top the hats from last year. Yeah, there's no way. Like, So if the, I, I think that's what it really... I hate to say it, but I think that's really what drove the ticket sales. Is that became such a valuable item for well, and yeah, it was the just cosmetics like this, yeah. and that kind of thing yeah. to get so much out of it. It was a real value based item. So if they can provide yeah. the same kind of value in that ticket, then I think they'll probably be able to duplicate it. But and I think they will. You think they will? I think they mm-hmm. will. Yeah, if they can at least keep the status quo, I think they'll. I think they'll do. I don't just think fine. they can do status quo and meet what they met last year. I think they have to. They have to outdo themselves again. If it's the I same think. ticket as last year, or same compendium as last year, do you buy it, Ben? I would buy it. Okay. Then, but, but I, then the status quo is fine. But I also have bought Star Ladder ones. And so yeah. I, I think I'm probably a little bit more mm. loose with buying some of those than a lot of the other players. Right. And I mean, are, so. I did buy some compendium points. Right. Because I right. And I don't, I don't think I would income. buy the compendium points if it Depending, was the same as I mean, last year. If they, if, but if they outdid themselves, I might. Yeah, so. depending on what the stretch goals are and what yeah. leveling cool, leveling compendium. How can cool do. the courier is yeah. that's at the next level I don't, or something. Yeah, I think I don't think that they will necessarily outdo last year in terms of like more stuff, more stuff. I think it'll be different stuff. And I'm okay with that. If, yeah. if it's different and equal, I think it would be okay. It's yeah. just some of that stuff was pretty unique that they put out this year. So I don't know. And I got to think that there's been people working on this since the same time last year. Probably. Right. So, I would hope so. Th- you, you hope that yeah. they put that kind of time into it. Yeah. What other news did we have? Oh, I'm uh, sorry, I'm taking over. Again. No, you're <laughs> fine, Ben. I no, know. Yeah, we uh... we want to get you out of here so you can go to bed and get your beauty sleep. Uh, yes, yeah. But speaking of hats and people getting pissed off about hats driving ticket sales, yeah. uh, Vlat is flying off the handle again. Yeah. And is uh, saying that competitive Dota will be dead in two years. It's something along those lines, yeah. No, no. Huh, okay. People are still playing competitive StarCraft Brood War. They are. <laughs> Yeah. Here, here's my opinion what on is, this. Does he, does he say what's going to kill it? it, it yes. I want to well, hear, hat, that's, I hear hats, the argument. But also on, online tournaments like Dota Pit. So the fact that I think it's it's more along the lines of what, what the meat of he, what he's saying is land tournaments are going to die. Because these tournaments like Dota Pit and the XMG Captain's Draft that are like, I think Dota Pit's at like $300,000. Yeah. Like for their... Prize is it right a non land tournament? It's a non land tournament and yeah. it's a com- it's completely done online. So I mean, they have very little overhead. And what Vlad's saying is when they're doing these big land things like the summit and mm-hmm. uh Star Ladder, they're they have so much overhead and they're paying yeah. for oh, you the know, cost is huge. Yeah, the cost is huge. So he says, you know, a lot of times we don't make that much money. Sometimes we lose money. I would imagine that it's probably true to think that the the profit percentage is higher for one of those non land. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah. So Absolutely. I think he might be right. Yeah. yeah, I think I think the biggest argument against it, which I have no problem with the online tournaments getting like these big, bigger yeah. prize pools because they can offer hats or whatever. Mm-hmm. The thing with Valat, what you need to what you need to learn is don't have seventeen star ladders in five years right they yeah they need to pace themselves a little bit better that's there for there sure. have been so he there's just so much that he does and i understand that it's probably a source of income um you know because of yeah you know all the all the ads yeah. and ticket sales yeah and for like the uh, stuff. uh what's what's the word i'm looking for the games before the land finals the qualifiers yeah those things yeah <laughs> so like all the all the the viewerships from that 
Well, there's something to be said for producing demand, and what you what you guys are talking about is certainly doesn't produce demand. It produces apathy and confusion, probably. So yeah, there's right. some truth. I think there's some truth to what you're saying. So so yeah, I th- I think See? the biggest thing is that th- there's just I think if if they go down to one star ladder a year, maybe that will help him. I think it could help. I think it could help star ladder in the long run. Maybe not in the short run, but in, yeah, in the long run for sure. I don't know. Be interesting to see. And then maybe maybe do an online tournament for himself. Yeah. You know? And maybe maybe what he's really saying as he's going on these rants is Star Ladder's Star Ladder's only gonna make it two more years. Right. So maybe. He, I mean in his world, maybe that's what he's thinking, his competitive Dota, because if he doesn't feel like that's gonna make it. Yeah. Right. I, that's I, a good point. I mean TI's still there's still gonna be a TI eight, right? That's not yeah. gonna not happen. Right. That's still yeah. gonna yeah. happen for sure. Valve makes way too much money on this game to not support that big tournament, and it brings a lot of exposure. Right. I think so. we will see more online tournaments than like a LAN finals, mm-hmm. like yeah, like D two CL and uh, the D two L. I think yeah. those will probably die. Because I, I think that's okay. It's still Dota, right? It's the same game. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's the unique thing about esports. I was gonna say, I think the Star Ladder, the Star Ladder model was viable when they were the only ones doing it. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. But now that there's so many more tournaments and so much more exposure, it just yeah. doesn't make sense anymore. It makes yeah. sense to maybe do one land final a year. Mm-hmm. Right. And and maybe an online. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But it's just just doing that much land play isn't viable anymore and well agree. yeah i agree there is a lot more com- competition then we add in this new tournament the dac which yeah. you know is mm-hmm. basically you know the asian ti that i'm assuming is going to happen every spring or, or you know yeah. winter now yeah. so. i feel like the the land's future is probably in regional tournaments where, where yeah. you're not dealing yeah, with the visa issues and the travel costs and that kind of thing i think i don't think lands are going away um, but I think that they're probably going to stay more localized, perhaps. I, mean, yeah. I could believe that. Maybe, maybe like Ryan said, the star ladder model is probably going to... To maybe diminish. Yeah. 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 So Great. Yeah, that is what it is. Yeah. yeah. Well, and he was and even I, saying... A big crux of what he was saying is like the... And it's the problem with ticket sales. You know, people buy tickets for items in the game. Right. right. And he's he's all convinced that he should be making all of his money from ticket sales in Dota 2 and not from like Twitch views. And it's, you know, it's this problem we've been talking about for a long time about how the Twitch version is free and a better experience than watching in the game. Right. right. Yeah. Watching in the client, you don't have yeah. a, a, some of the features that are added in. And even more so now when uh, you have things like the Dota Pit that are doing instant replays in game now. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have seen this. Yeah. But it's pretty awesome. It's, it's You're missing very those well done. Yeah. It would be nice if if Valve maybe just developed a way, and and maybe you can't do it in the client. Maybe that's just not going to happen. But if they could even link their ticket to something, so you know maybe it's an external website or something that Valve supports. But it would be nice if they did support that extra extra content somehow. Right. I don't know if you can get it into the client. That might be yeah. technically something that's hard to do. But if they can just find some way to support that extra content and tie that content to a ticket yeah. mm-hmm. to make it worth getting the ticket, I think that's a positive thing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, that's an ongoing discussion. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's not something that's gonna be have an easy, easy solution, but right. Uh yeah. in in other uh competitive gaming news, uh Toby Wan of joindota.com is going to start casting uh Counter Strike Global Offensive games. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Jared, do you know? Is he? He is not stepping he, completely away from Dota. Okay. I mean, this is like another thing he's doing. He's yeah. he's announced that on Twitter. But so. obviously, yeah. some of his time is going to be going. He to says, uh, yeah, yeah. Basically, it's the fact that he wants his his view was um, that he wants to to stay fresh. Casting something different is giving him a new challenge, and the Dota community is super toxic. So there's both of those. And I think he presented he presented it <laughs> I can't as a, disagree with yeah, that. He, I think he presented it as a normal thing. Like a lot of esports casters do that, whether it be for the monetary reasons or right. the keeping fresh reasons. I think that's Yeah, a, just after casting Dota for like seven years, I think he said. Yeah, it's probably like good to step away from yeah. a little bit. Yeah. I, I think it's a non issue. Uh, to me it's not a concern. So No, I, but I think it speaks volumes to uh join Dota's current state. 
mm. that he could step away? Well, or, no, just the or fact that's that bad. Yeah, I think it's bad for Join Dota. You think Join Join Dota? You think Join Dota is in a bad spot? Is what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Well, they're doing all this MLG stuff, right? Which is good. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought there was some other big content that they were doing as well. I don't remember. Well, everything that. with MLG. Yeah. But I don't. I don't think it's necessarily fair for him to say that the Dota Two community is toxic, which it is. But <laughs> the g- game, g- the internet is toxic. Well, yeah, he's going to get that a counter strike yeah, too, right? It's going to be just the same. Yeah. I think. I mean, we've even. <laughs> if you put yourself out there, you're going to get some neg- negative feedback. That's, Absolutely. that's what's going to happen. We've sure. we've had that, and we're not. We don't have the exposure to- Toby Wan has. You yeah. know, you're, you're going to. It's just part of how it goes. So, yeah, um, yeah. I'm sure it gets old after a while, but you know, whatever. Yeah. We haven't been doing it for years like he has, but right. yeah. I think it's it is what it is. It just goes with the territory. Yeah, yeah. So I, don't I know think it's it's not going to go away because he wants a Counter Strike. I guess that's right. what I would say. I know I plan on watching some of the matches that he catch, casts. I yeah. think it'll be interesting. Yeah, I guess. That, uh, yeah, that's interesting. I have zero interest in watching Counter Strike. Still, I don't no, think I don't think fair. any any caster watch it or anything. I don't know. I, it's I, a tough game to spectate. To it me, is. It's not. I, yeah, I don't. I don't think that or Call of Duty have been nearly as intriguing to me to watch. Yeah. Um, I, I played there's, a there's lot. There's something special about Dota and, and League of Legends and the MOBA genre that just the team play element and the it lends to spectating complexity very complexity well. there versus somebody who just has yeah. really good Twitch skills are not as interesting to me if that makes sense. So, no, I agree. But yeah, yeah, camping, I'm sure, camping I'm sure in there's one elements. Spot. Yeah, there's probably elements of Counter Strike that are there that I just don't understand and appreciate. Like much like people who watch NASCAR explain to me that there's just things I don't get. Yeah, intricacies. Yeah, there's there's some intricacies there, but no. I just find Dota to be more intriguing as a team sport and that kind of thing. So yeah, that's fair. Uh, so we talked about Join Dota doing some of the MLG stuff uh, in kind of MLG news. Uh, MLG is partnering with the X Games Austin to bring Dota Two to the X Games. I thought you were going to tell them the news that we screwed up and didn't get tickets for MLG Columbus. Hmm. Or did we just say that? We just did now. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think we're, yeah, anyway. but <laughs> We'll talk about that in a moment. Let's yeah. talk about the X Games. So I think that this is, this is I think, interesting. Because um, I can't remember who said it on our, on our Reddit threads about yeah. this. But uh, ESPN made poker interesting to watch. Well, yeah, they were very successful in doing that. Is that still on ESPN, by the way? Poker? I'm sure it's, it is. It's on some sports channels. I've seen it on Twitch, poker. Yeah. It still it's has a... I guess you would say it still has a following. There's, it's still on television. Yeah. yeah. But here... Okay. They and did, they back did. in the day, they used to they used to broadcast Magic but they and never, Scrabble. But they never made those successful. That's the difference. Between, uh, yeah. So they were successful. Poker. Magic is magic is hard to watch. It really is. Magic's really situation. hard to watch. But Scrabble, you would, you would, I would totally watch. You would think that poker would be hard to watch. I mean, other than, yeah. the, other than the fact that the rules are very simple and, and people most people know the rules and accessible you would think that poker as a spectator sport would just totally suck but people get sucked into it yeah so well i think the fact that there's high stakes if you will the high stakes but it's not my money what do i care i think i think it's they, yeah, they, there's dopamine release i think they were though. i think they were successful <laughs> in create here's what i think it was i think espn was successful and and other cable networks that have done this as well mm-hmm. they've been successful in building stories Yes. Agreed. Behind poker, and they didn't. I don't think they did that as well with Magic: The Gathering. Well, players. right, yeah, yeah, right. So, right. And, and maybe it was just even a, a, you know, consequence of the times when Magic: The Gathering was getting broadcast. It may still even be broadcast, but no, I, I think it. they did because if you watch the poker, it moves fast. You're you're watching a hand of poker, and then you're getting a you know a profile on that particular and poker player. Here comes the river. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you're but you're getting that, but then you're getting some profiles on the players and you're yeah. seeing the history of when they won it all last year or they lost on a ace and these two guys are, are up against each no, other. I agree. Again. I agree. And I agree. Yeah. So I think if ESPN can do that with Dota, they can have similar success. I agree. It's, it's a lot about framing and making your audience understand the story. And I think, yeah. I think that um, some of the independent people are pretty good at doing that so far. I don't know if valve has been successful in doing that yet. Mm. With their with their broadcast and stuff, but I think if they can get there, if they can really leverage ESPN and have those big storylines and do yeah. some profiles, I think they could have some success there because they've done that with the X Games and look at where the X Games is. I mean, yeah, those are incredibly popular. And who before was really caring about skateboarding and 
snowboarding before that happened. Right. It was a very specific group of people who would watch something like that, but they, they managed to, to really frame and position people like Tony Hawk and, and some of the other, you know, Sean White, some of those big yeah. X game personalities. And they've made that sport right. successful where people will watch it. So right. it'll be interesting to see if they do that here with, with Dota too. I do think that's some sort of, when it, when you get down to it and I think this kind of goes back to almost kind of what the lot was getting at a little bit. I think that is like the special sauce that makes people who aren't at like the highest level of competitive play care about watching. Oh competitive yeah. Gaming I agree with that. Completely. Is the storyline. It has to be yeah. because that's what was so good about the TI three finals was this storyline of Alliance going through undefeated to the finals in this crazy match of navi and alliance duking it out for a best of five that's what made it so good that's how you got jared and i sucked into it yeah I think, for cause, sure because we were sports fans in general and you you talked enough about the storylines here and you told us who people were and what their history was that i think you and i who knew nothing about dota right i didn't understand what a gank or a bkb was I but know, i knew but... that admiral bulldog if he got this hero was going to go crazy. We knew that, yeah. and we knew what a best of five was, and the fact right, that yeah, they, were, yeah, yeah, right. they made it to game five, we knew that was important, that everything is on the line now, because this is yeah. winner takes all. Everybody understands winner takes all, best of five. Those are yeah. kind of things that are easily translatable, and those storylines, you know, the repeat matchup from last year, those are storylines yeah. that people, I think, can get on board with. And I, I yeah. think that's the big thing that's missing right now, it's just these these big overarching storylines mm-hmm. that um, somebody's, I don't know what it is, but they're not being told well. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I think they're not, yeah, they're not being told well. I, ho- I hope ESPN can do it. Yeah. That I, would be kind of neat. Yeah. That's the big difference. Yeah. And I think that I, I do think the lack of stability on the rosters hurts that a little bit. I agree. So I think that it can create a lot of storylines though. It can, if they, again, they just have to it's, leverage yeah, it. Right. right. It's just Agreed. not being leveraged Agreed. correct yet. A lot of the the independent stuff that's being broadcast, it's more analysis of different hero picks and that kind of thing, which I enjoy. Right. But they maybe do need to focus more on Dendi is with Navi and all his teams left, and now he's facing his ex teammate and right showing the the history there or right you know some some player came from really humble beginnings to become a professional Dota player that is driving around in a Mercedes, you know those type of <laughs> things are yeah fair. interesting to people right. So. So anyway, that'll be exciting. It will be exciting. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Um, all right. Let's, uh, what do you guys say we move on to the Hero of the Week? That sounds good to me. Let's do yeah, it. Fine. Whatever. Yeah. Who's moving the show along now? Oh, hold on. Oh. Oh, this freaking thing, you guys. It's, see, it's not responding. You're tougher than I thought. Come along. Feeding time. Have a cookie. Meepo. More meepo. I love you guys. <laughs> Oh, I love you guys. Guys, I just want to play my things, and I just I can't do it. I don't know what's going on. All right, so anyway, uh, the hero of the week is Razor. Razor. Razor, uh, who I think has fallen into uh, a kind of a bottom-tier pick these no days. No man's land. Yeah, he's yeah. out there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what he- happened to him? Um... Pretty significant nerfs to uh, his static field. That's what happened to him. You're right. Uh, And then the fact that his uh, ultimate no longer persists through Aegis. Mm. Oh, I didn't know that. Which was weird. Yeah, that was one of the weirdest interactions when I found out that it still persisted. I was like, why why, why is that a thing? Why is that a thing? But it makes a difference, doesn't it? Uh, It makes a huge difference because that's four seconds that he was more or less invulnerable that he could be attacking... You know, especially when you get a ref- exploitable, though, in a way. Yeah, you get an Ags refresher on him, and it, you know, it damaged buildings. You could have two instances of it running at the same time, and then you die. You're dead for four or five seconds or whatever you are with the Aegis, and it's still going. It doesn't make any sense. Yes, that's true. So, so luckily, anyway, it doesn't happen anymore. Right. <laughs> so let's uh, let's talk about his abilities, and we'll kind of get into that stuff a little sure, bit. Sure, okay. He is Sorry. a uh, range agility hero. Um, and his Q is called Plasma Field, releases a wave of energetic plasma that grows in power as it expands, but also zaps, zaps on contraction, dealing damage to enemy units caught in its path. Damage increases with distance from Razor. 
Uh, let's see here. The max expand radius is 700, so it'll do a 700 AOE around him. And yeah, that's pretty uh, nice. it does more damage the further away it is. Right. The damage width is 200. Uh, does minimum damage, 30 damage all the way up to uh, 90 damage minimum at level 4. Okay. Maximum damage is 160 at level 1 mm-hmm. and 370 at level 4. That's pretty good. That's not bad. It's kind of hard to hit that max damage uh, plasma field, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's really difficult. But with that said, you know, it's going to hit a lot of people in team fights. So Yeah, exactly. I don't know. It's kind of all over the place. So it's a good ability. I like it. I think it's, it's a good. very good ability. What's the cooldown on that thing? Uh, 14 seconds at all levels. That's pretty low. Yeah. So y- you level up the damage on this. Thing. I like that ability. Right. What it does. Yeah, it's good. It does magical damage. Um, so it's just kind of a basic AOE nuke. Right. Uh, w is his static link. And this is kind of i think kind of a crux ability for him this is kind of the linchpin kind of, of like the key ability key mechanic him, with yeah. him yeah it's definitely the one that makes him very powerful yeah so his w is called static link it targets a single enemy unit creates a charge link between razor and an enemy hero stealing damage from the target and giving it to razor uh the link break distance is 700 and the cast range is 600 uh, attack damage stolen per second is 7 at level 1, 28 at level 4. That's significant. That's really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, link duration is 8 seconds, and the buff duration is 18 seconds. 32 second cooldown at level 1, 26 second cooldown at level 4. Okay, so the cooldown decreases as well. Yeah. Okay. So basically get close to somebody, static link them, and do tons of damage. And steal damage. Yeah, so we'll you do more yeah, damage so and they you're do less them, damage. Yeah. yeah. So this is kind of what makes him, um, in my opinion, a strong offlaner. Well, and what we consider a lane dominator. A lane dominator, correct. A uh, very, He really is a lane dominator. Yeah, for sure. So if you're... Yeah, it, you can really abuse somebody who doesn't know how to position themselves well with this. Right. Um, or, you can harass them out of lane really easily or stop them from farming with this mm-hmm. or you know all sorts of stuff. Yeah, if you can gain a move speed advantage on somebody, get early boots on Razor... Mm-hmm. It's it's a really significant thing. Just follow thing. people around and make them do less damage, and the, you yeah. get more, basically. Yeah. yeah. Right-click the crap out of them. Right-click them like crazy. But also, with that said, I think if you are if you can't land good static links or they get broken easily, Razor isn't nearly as effective as he could he be. He needs it. Fairly underwhelming. Yeah, he yeah. needs it as a right-click carry, like unlike a lot of other right-click carries that don't really need anything particular out of an ability. He, he needs right, to get yeah. that ability. More really item-dependent as opposed to ability-dependent. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'd agree with that. Uh, okay, his E is his passive. Uh, it's called Unstable Current. Razor moves with increased speed, so it kind of helps helps with those static Ooh, links. Synergy. Synergy. Oh, synergy. <laughs> synergy. And any abilities targeted at him are instantly countered with a jolt of electricity, which damages, slows, and purges buffs from enemies. The move speed bonus is 4% at level 1 and 16% at level 4. It does 40 damage at level 1, 130 damage at level 4. Which hmm. is, that's kind of nice, just for... Uh, just for getting targeted. Just for, being, just for getting targeted. Just being hit, yep. Is that... Reason, uh, so any ability. So if you're using like a, it's not like a right click. It would be like a yeah, like a spell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but still, try uh, to hex him as lion. Right. A hundred percent move speed slow. Is that s- really? Yeah, it's it's significant, it's man. That's nice. really nice. A uh, hundred attack speed slow. Uh, at level so one, annoying. The it lasts for 0.5 seconds and two seconds at level four. Yeah. So it's not a long time, but. It, well, that's it keeps though. you from running away. Yeah, that's yeah a big deal. exactly. Yeah. Again, with, with and he the, gets the static link, and then he has his uh, Q to chase you down as you're running away. I think yeah, it does quite a. It's pretty nice. I like the synergy there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's very annoying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so his ultimate is called Eye of the Storm, which does physical damage, mm-hmm. which is worth noting. Uh, a Noted. P- a powerful lightning storm strikes out at enemy units with the lowest health, dealing damage and reducing their armor. Uh, the lightning search radius is 500. The strike interval is 0.7 at level 1, uh, 0.6 at level 2, <laughs> and 0.5 at level 3. 
upgradable mm-hmm. with Ag Scepter, uh, causes faster strikes that can damage structures as well. When striking yeah. buildings, it will only target towers, barracks, and the ancient. Does 37.5 damage at level 1, 62.5 damage at level 3. Armor reduction per strike is one. So you're reducing one armor per Every strike. Every strike. Holy crap. That's really good. <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, it's nuts. Duration is 30 seconds, and you can use all of his other abilities while this thing is going. It's Basically, a nice right. ultimate. It just summons a little, little thundercloud above him that kind of... Pew, pew, pew. Yeah. Pew, pew. Yeah. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, this thing was really nice. This is what made him a top tier competitive pick in level four. Was the uh, people would draft him for like these crazy pushing strategies at yeah. TI four, yeah, and get ags on him and just run buildings over, right? Because you can, you know, as long as he stays alive, you know, as Jared, you were talking with that Aegis, yeah, uh, Aegis upgrade, or you get the Aegis and when you have the ag scepter on him. You know, if you die at the, t- you know, at like the tier three towers, it was almost good. It's still going. <laughs> it was almost good. It's still well, because doing because damage. The, the enemy team targeted you. Yeah. yeah. You, oh, you're saying that you would intentionally die. Well, that's yeah. what uh, you just run in there, make everybody focus you. It you was die. An, it was an exploit for sure. For yeah, sure. I mean, there's a reason it's not there in the game. Anymore. Yeah. And then and then, uh, as we mentioned before, it's worth noting that if you have a refresher with him, you can have two instances of Eye of the Storm running simultaneously. So potentially even more exploitable, exploitable before they change that. Really? Right. Yeah, you can have two instances of it running simultaneously. Mm-hmm. I can't see. believe you didn't know that. Refresher Orb, when used with Agonim Scepter... That's why Refresher Ags is such a big deal with him. Yeah. This is what Dota 2 Wiki says. Refresher Orb, when used with Agonim Scepter, grants incredible damage with five <laughs> lightning strikes, 312.5 damage per second. It's Look crazy. at the max damage that Dota Wiki says that it can do. Uh, and then multiply that four thousand six hundred eighty-seven. Yeah, four thousand six hundred eighty-seven times two. Right. <laughs> That's it's, crazy. I mean, it's, his ultimate. Well, really and actually, it'd be more than that because with the strikes, it re- each strike reduces armor, right. so it'd be increasing damage. Yeah. <laughs> so there's that. Um, so let's talk about how uh, what kind of roles he plays. Uh, okay. Mid or a carry. I mean, definitely, safely. definitely a core. You can position. you can do off lane on him, I guess too. But yeah, um, definitely, yeah, definitely a core. You want to farm him up because he's he's definitely more effective when you get the ags. Yeah, for on sure. him. If you can get a refresher, great. But I feel like ags is pretty necessary. Um, it's definitely some helpful. Sort of, some sort of movement speed can be very drum, helpful for drum him is, too. Drum of endurance. Yeah, is a- so anything good on with him. movement speed, I think, yeah. can be an item you would get on on razor really. So yeah, yeah, Yules doesn't really make sense. This brings us to our new segment where, Jared, can we play this as a support? Um, no. No, you cannot, <laughs> Brian. Um, Yules would keep you safe as your ulti's going, though. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Uh, yeah. Death Prophet-esque. It's not the best one. I Death Prophet-esque. Yeah, it's not the best alt or item for him for movement speed, but If you use yourself... And here's the thing, if though. If you use I mean, yourself, does the thing keep zapping people? I would imagine. I, I would think so. I would imagine. It okay. Would. It doesn't have the AoE damage, though. It only does single target damage. Yeah, still. I don't know. Yeah, I like you it. You run up to a tower and nobody's around it. There's worse items on him. We'll, we'll say that. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, just because. Does the lady... static does the static link stay when they're if you yules somebody else? Yeah, I think it does. It should. So that's another reason, right? So you have yeah. somebody. Okay. I think it actually could work. Can I predict the future here, real quick? Well, everybody starts running yules on Razor. Well, no, I'm. I was gonna say I'm gonna post this up on Reddit, and everyone's gonna comment about how wrong how wrong we are. We are. We're yeah. probably wrong. Oh, I, which I, is fine. I I don't think it. it's the ba- I don't think it's the best item, but I don't <laughs> think it's a bad item. I guess is what I would say. I think there's other things I would pick first. Yeah, yules is gonna get nerfed in the next patch. Oh god, yeah, way. it is. It's the new hotness, and then it will probably be a no brainer that there's other yeah. things I would pick first. Yeah, recipe increase. I think Sanjin Yasha makes a lot of sense on him. Yeah, yeah. I don't disagree. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I You can run him, any as we said, I think anywhere f- between the one and three position. Yeah, I would agree. No support Razor thoughts God, here? No. <laughs> I don't. I mean, he's, he's set up so well to do damage. I just don't think yeah. that makes sense for him. I don't think he's, I don't think he's good. I think there's better hard carries. I think he's great in the offlane or mid position. I agree. I don't know if I'd run yeah. him safe lane necessarily. I don't. The, the, He'd do okay though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there's. there's but I, I don't worse. think. Any, I think he used to be a little bit better. I would agree. Ran as a I safe lane yeah. carry. I don't think he's as much into that role anymore. I would definitely agree. Right. 
And we're all yawning because it's so freaking tired. <laughs> well, we usually tape the show at like I know. three in the afternoon. This yeah, is it's a little ten thirty right now. Uh, and we're all things like, are getting rough. Yeah, they're getting a pretty rough. Should we should we move on then? Well, I was just gonna say I I think Razor he's I think he's a good hero to pick. I think he's he's reliable. He's usually yeah. not gonna lose you a game. Yeah, that's that's my thing. Is I, I think if you can figure out the static link, which it's not a super complicated mechanic to figure out. No. Uh, he's, well, he's a I think, fun hero yeah, to play. The main thing is good. just the range on that. You don't want to initiate static link at max range. You want to be close, right? Well, yeah, so that you can get the most out. It's of a it. six hundred cast range, so yeah. If you're if it's at max range, you're just gonna have it yeah. lost so. pretty much almost instantly. Yeah. So okay. Well, there we um, go. And we kind of talked about items on him. Yeah. Just buy stuff. <laughs> Yeah. Ag Scepter, BKB, Mac. He he does get a decent amount of armor and HP. He does tend to beef up a little bit. Yeah, he, yeah. He I think gets so. pretty yeah. He gets pretty tanky and then with his inherent passive there. Yeah. He moves pretty quickly and then yeah. usually you know, yeah. if you build an SOY something, you're probably gonna be zipping around to five twenty two pretty quick. Yeah. There we go. Do there it. you go. Do um it. Razor. Let's see. I think that brings us to uh to chatting with cheeks, I think. I, I think, think so. All yeah, right. Seems good to me. All right. We're bringing him back, guys. Here we go. Cheeks. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the dense and impenetrable web of systemic bullshit we collectively refer to as Dota. Hey, Cheeks. <laughs> cheeks, how are you doing? Bring us into the home uh, stretch here. I will bring you into the home stretch. There's been a surprising amount of people for a last minute posting about how, uh, how we're recording this show tonight so that's kind of cool we're, we're not changing to this time different yeah. day different time we were ju- we were just like let's just do a show today we did because we we've missed a couple we thought yeah. hey we'll do it we'll still be back on on sunday yeah but we just we know you guys want to listen to our voices so we want to give yeah. you something to listen to thanks content, a lot to baby. everyone who's content. listening to us live exactly. we appreciate it. yeah yeah exactly seriously. lots of people concerned about you know not being able to uh to listen to the show later if they tune in live. So mm. I don't know. Maybe we have you to record can. some extra recorded can. content. Well, I know you can, but I it's do. just... Do you listen to the whole thing? Though? I do. You're strange. I mostly just skip to my parts. I Every would, week I listen I, to the I, whole I, thing. I would never listen to this show. That's not surprising. <laughs> I don't think you ever have. I haven't, no. Yeah. <laughs> that's why we always we always talk a bunch of trash about Ben when he's not on the show because well, we know fine. he's not going to I make it. notes. Yeah. That's fine. I don't, That's just. I'm just kidding, Ben. We don't actually. It's talk okay if you do. Much. It's fine. No, it's fine. I'm really not upset. But yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna be tired, uh, but I'm not upset. We've been talking about stuff. I uh, I, I actually lost most of that stuff because oh, no. Skype call was getting weird, and I had to re- pop out the chat window, and then all the chat history goes. It's, oh no. Is there a way to see the chat history? No, you're out of luck. Uh, you just have to remember it. No, I just have to remember. Okay. Oh well, crap. There was that great Euro Truck Simulator comment. <laughs> <laughs> was that the highlight? Was there oh, anything man. to top that? That was that was pretty good. And you know what? Uh, I, I can honestly say there was even a point in the trip when we were uh, we were. On, Where you saw some Euro trucks? Well, we were in a bus uh, doing the Sound of Music tour in Salzburg, and we went on to the. Uh, to the auto the autobahn i think so yeah the yeah, autobahn right. autobahn and i was like oh my gosh you're a truck simulator i was like <laughs> i said i suddenly understand why people want to play this game <laughs> did, did your wife say anything to you when you said that or did she just ignore you entirely i thought that to myself oh you didn't say I, it out loud no, i was with my wife you decided not i don't share it. i don't think she would have appreciated i try to it. i try to embarrass myself as little as possible that's probably why yeah. yeah did you just try to play it cool and be like be like, hey, I wonder if Julie Andrews ever rode this yeah. bus. <laughs> I got, I got you know, real, like yeah, I got real sweaty, and then I was like, what would Julie Andrews do if she was here? <laughs> I was on a, I was on a tour <laughs> bus going through the <laughs> mountains of of Austria, <laughs> drinking <laughs> Stiegel beer, brewed in Salzburg, oh, wow. and learning about the von Trapp family. Yeah, we were. Everyone was singing songs on the tour bus. <laughs> oh boy! While they were playing music on the speakers, and we were driving through the mountains, but. My, my sister had yeah. that that uh, movie growing up back yeah. in the days when movies were on VHS. Mm. Yeah. The uh, second tape got destroyed. And oh, I was no. always bummed out because I only got to see yeah. the first part. Of, she constantly played the movie. It's a good movie. But it was only the first part yeah. of the movie. So the part that's more exciting with all the Nazis and yeah. stuff, that was missing. That's, that's right. good. So I've, only, I, I've seen yeah. the first half of Sound of Music probably 300 times. Oh, sorry about and that. And the second half, like five. You get to hear Julia Andrews. Or no, it's Maria who goes, Wee! 
when she gets kissed yeah. by the Nazi postman or whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> anyway, all right. Chatting with cheeks. Let's okay. Hear, so let's no, 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 no. I've, I've got it. I've got it. Okay. I all remember right, something. Right. I think I remember something. <laughs> Okay. I was asking Peter Box, friend of the show Peter Box, to hit Hello, me with Peter some Box. of those turbo emotes. Okay. <laughs> turbo emotes. Because, yeah, because he's about? a turbo, he's a, he's a Twitch turbo user. Okay. Oh, oh, we've been graced with a turbo user. What's that mean? Exactly. And then I don't I know if he, cool he did emotes. this, if he oh. didn't enter it correctly, but he typed in Xbox. And then Diddy Mitch got really mad and said PS4, Xbox, not well. So con- <laughs> and we had a small console, console wars. war, which was, wars. Which was dumb. Uh oh. Diddy so. Mitch instantly getting angry. Diddy Mitch is a Sony I've got- guy. I know that about him. He's Sony all the yeah. way. I've got no problem with the with the Xbox. I I we have one. You and you and we I use both uh, we dabble in both both world both worlds there a little bit. So yeah, uh, we're gross. We're, we're, those yeah. people who have we're all not, platforms. We're not afraid well, to have both the platforms. Yeah, and and I but, even have a uh, Nintendo, which is I think still considered a platform unless you're talking about console wars, and that's totally an afterthought at that point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of an afterthought. Yeah. Uh, Peter Box also said that he was really wanted to get into, or he was really getting into Dota, and he found this podcast, and he said, God help him. Yeah. Because yeah, Diddy Mitch had been talking about what he'd learned from this show, because yeah. Diddy Mitch had found out that Brian is sort of attracted to Marana. That's one thing he learned from the show. We were In talking a non-sexual about what we way. Like an uh, assistant Ben way. keeps quiet yeah. on, the, uh, on the mic. Yeah, uh, yeah he got game. to experience that when we played some Diablo. Not on the show, surprisingly enough. No. And only Jared in, loves only in game. support. And Jared loves support everybody. That's <laughs> yeah. correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That yeah. Sounds and has a gambling right. problem. <laughs> and has a gambling problem. We like to talk about Dota, but we don't have... Let's be honest. We don't have any actual useful information. <laughs> God, we no, have God. some, but yeah, it's, very little. But it's you really need to you need to really sift through it to find something that's useful. I think. Yeah, it's true. Every once in a while, speaking we have a of nugget. barely useful information, are you guys ready for some questions? Yo, oh boy, uh, Brian's not. No, I'm ready. Are you sure? Because yeah. well, oh boy, Brian like... and guys, do I have some questions for you? Hit it! Holy shit! Got it. Prepare for war. The lesson is always prepare for war. Well done. I think I'm three for three tonight. I think. No, the we're not. We We've missed most of them. What are you talking about? Okay. Three for well, three. Right. Three in a row, I think. That was hot. Maybe three in a row. Coming in hot. That's right. Do you have any questions? For All us? right. <laughs> yeah, we got questions. We got questions. I'm ready with questions. Shows yeah. off the rails. So now, if, hard. if Ben will, if Ben will quiet down. <laughs> He'll pipe down a little. Hold on, Jared's belt is undone. Why is Jared's belt undone? <laughs> Guys, I'm getting a little too fat for this. <laughs> Just play through cheeks. I Come had on. chicken, chicken fries. fries. I gave if you, you need to go to the bathroom. I gave you that belt because it was too large for me. Just, just play. It's Just play it's through the pants. Okay, I, I had, I hadn't. Well, I didn't have an accident, but <laughs> the daughter had an accident. I had to go to reserve pants. <laughs> I don't so want to know about it. Anyway, go ahead. All right, it's too, it's too late to talk about noobs your ask, pants. Noobs ask noobs. Here noobs we go. ask noobs. Uh, this first question is from uh, Sunbro6131. <laughs> Hello. This is a, a new friend of the show. Welcome, Sunbro. Uh, yeah, welcome. Or actually, he's been listening for, la- for the last couple of months, but he's just now sort of well, I'm still sorry. dipping his toe in the community pool, if you will. Perfect. Okay. Welcome to come out of the woodwork. And, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So here we go. Uh, it says, more. I've played Dota since its first iteration on Warcraft 3. One of the legit wow. strategies back then was massing Skull Bashers on Lycan. Oh, Due to this, I yeah. tend to random almost every game as I know how to play them all at a decent level, and I'm, un- and I'm an undecisive, undecisive person by nature. Fair. Okay. Do you guys random? And if so, which heroes would you guys immediately repick if you got them? Mine would be Invoker and Sniper. I find yeah, Sniper yeah. a bit dull, and I can't. Uh, memorize invoker's combo to save my life or my teammates. Yeah. Wow! So I don't, I don't generally random, but what I'll sometimes do if I'm feeling particularly sassy or upset is I'll intentionally pick hero, heroes that are hard to use, such as yeah. Meepo, just to get my teammates or upset. Chen. You've been, or you've been dab- dabbling in some Chen, brother. In some Chen, yeah. <laughs> only, only if I'm playing with people I know will I do that. But occasionally I'll do that just to kind of mess with people. 
I wish we could still have weird strategies like amassing six skull bashers on yeah, like a, the Yeah, the old days of, yeah, of stacking, Dota. stacking bashers. I just like oh. love the heritage of like weird strategies like that. Warcraft 3 was just home of weird mods in general. Yeah. So oh, yeah. I think there are multiple, if I remember correctly, there are multiple versions of Dota that were out there. So you weren't always playing like the main Dota. There were all these like spinoffs of one Dota made too. by Ice Frog, one made by Frost Toad. Yeah, well, just because <laughs> people just mod the mods basically, right. so they're different modes. Right. I mean, just kind of like the custom games thing that Valve has started to support, but kind of to the extreme. Yeah. So uh, fun stuff. But yeah, no, I I personally I I don't random mm-hmm. um, just because I don't play enough to actually I I, I say I might start randoming an all pick. When we play, just because I feel I feel rude doing it, to be I, honest. I, I do as I, well. I just feel like a lot of times, uh, you know, I'll troll you guys and pick some hero that I probably shouldn't play, but I'll usually at least try to pick the right role. Yeah, yeah. based on the team. Comp, well, it doesn't matter so. what hero I have; I'll probably still play support. Because the the <laughs> game you probably will. Ben raises a really great point because the game is so composition dependent. That right, but if you random right away, I mean, the rest of your team could pick on it. Well, right, but then you're an a hole. I don't decide. I think you I should wait until the last that. second. When you to when you pop into an all pick ma- match and you see somebody random, don't you immediately just go, "Oh, I've got one of those." No. Yes. I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, especially at our skill level. Maybe this guy's in a high MMR where you can do that. Our skill level, ugh. Because you go great. Yeah, this a yeah, hole wants the rest of us to play like, around you, him. I'm like, be honest. I have no problem with this. I'm like, be honest. You're, you're sub three thousand MMR. Yeah, sub two thousand. You, you, prob- you. you probably or, <laughs> or sub two K MMR <laughs> in your guys's case. Whatever. <laughs> you probably don't know it's how to number. play the heroes that you think you know how to play very well. So you certainly don't know how to play all 100 plus heroes well enough to random and be successful. Right. Oh, no, I, I don't disagree so with I that. So I always feel so like I'd re-pick, that's yeah. totally a jerk. And then they repick and they lose gold and you're like, what are no you doing? I have no problem with this. First I think of if, all, you want, if, you, if you want if you want to 2k MMR party, okay. GG yeah. get off. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I think I think if you want a random, there's modes for that. Yes, yes, that's absolutely. what I think. So I do like playing single draft. I like single oh, draft too. I, I love, love single, single draft. draft. I, that's a mode for that, right? I mean, in yeah, a way, we should so play more single draft. I like random that. draft even more. So no, we don't. We're not good enough to random. We're just if we did it, we would just be jerks to everyone around us. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna random next time we play. That's fine. And Jared, Jared, what are your? I'll opinions pick Meepo. Here? You, uh, I have no problem with it. Okay. Well, who are the heroes that you instantly uh, invoker? Okay, we pick invoker. Um. I think I would try every other hero. Is okay. it worth it? What's the point? You get extra gold just and, do this. Just, and you learn. And here's the thing. You can there's just, so many heroes that I want to play. Well, why don't you just use the spin to random feature and not lose gold if you have to get a hero that you have to repick on? Because then I can always repick? I mean, no, because no, I, I don't know. I, I will just spin to random until somebody I know how to play. Just No, just make a rule. I'm going to spin to random once, and whoever it is, I'm going to play, unless it's somebody who I would not have kept if I did a random pick. I don't have enough self-control for that. Yeah, I don't either. You guys just need to learn self-control. My gosh. I have a gambling addiction. All right. People shouldn't random unless <laughs> they know how to play all the heroes. So more power to you. Let's move on. Because that person knows how to do it, but people in our skill level don't usually know how to do that. Oh, and I definitely don't. And but you, I'm going you to You definitely time. should not random jump. I'm going to. All right, next question. We I mostly chose that here. question because this is a guy who's been playing Dota since the first iteration, and he still listens to our show. Yeah, he, he's That's a good impressive. That's, That's a good impressive. Point. And he's allowed to random. That guy deserves it. But Jared, <laughs> yeah. does, Jared Sun doesn't deserve it. Sunbro <laughs> deserves it. That guy, yeah, I what's think his name? Sunbro. Sunbro? Sunbro 6131. So Sunbro 6131. Like he's from the future. You can random as like. much as you want, but Jared has no business randoming. And I would still repick Invoker. And you would repick if you got Invoker. <laughs> All right. Do we have any more questions? Yes, of course. There's more questions. That was only the first question. Ben. I figured that that was still Ben's doing right. what he always does doing, during Noobs Ask Noobs. <laughs> Getting I, super salty. I don't particularly hate this segment. I just hate Jared's answers. We need people in the <laughs> chat room to like quantify <laughs> how salty Ben is getting. <laughs> With the icons. How many, salt, how that many that salty modes are coming out? Quantifying that your uh, mouse clicking skills are getting better since you returned from Europe. <laughs> hey! Yeah, see? <laughs> they're, they're not here live ben, in the studio. It's... Yeah, they said no wonder Europeans are so much better at Dota than us. <laughs> so it, it rubbed off on you. <laughs> so that was that was friend of the show, Dwarf. Dwarf, dwarf SC. Yeah, not Dwarf C. Mm, yes. like not Dwarf C, but 
Doesn't like Although Dwarf that. C is cute sounding. I appreciate that my clicking skills have gone noticed. Yes. So I'm, I'm under the impression you have more questions. Yeah, I've got another question here. All right. <laughs> it's two salt shakers. Two salt shakers <sighs> the emotes. It's two. So, so I had to include this one because this one really did blow my mind. This is from friend of the show, Diddy Mitch. It says, <laughs> what's an item in Dota 2 uh, you don't think you have ever bought? I have oh. over 550 games of Dota and have never bought or used a Blink Dagger once. What? Yeah. I know. Are you serious? It's, it's serious. He plays Clanks. Yeah. So, so <laughs> you guys, the reason for my lack of shock is because this revelation came about during a Diablo 3 match that I was playing <laughs> with Diddy Mitch. He's also apparently never, he's never <laughs> bought a Hand of Midas either, he said. He, start, he, he had a number of items. That's I think, fair. I can understand yeah. that one. Diddy had a couple tagger? different things that he's never bought. I bought everything. Why would you not try everything out? Is there any hey, item I he, haven't bought? I don't think so. He has, he has 100 more wins than losses, so yeah, I think he must be doing something better right. at the game. Maybe it's because I've tried to buy a Blink Dick. I can't, I I can't argue with that one. Are there any yeah. items you guys have never tried? Oh. i got to take a look. I have not, buy, I have not bought a Divine Rip here. Really? You never? Yeah. Never. never. Well, I'm usually support. What would I do with that? Can I, can you can hit I people this? really hard is what you do. I, I drop it instantly. Have you ever <laughs> picked one up at least? I've picked no. one up. Wow. You guys have never... Have I've never bought items. one, but I have picked one up. Bring the item list up, Brian. Let's look through this thing and see if there's anything you guys haven't tried. You uh, know, going back to that question we had a couple weeks ago about the pipe of insight, I think the reason that people don't buy that is because... I, I bought one, but then I wasn't sure if I should have bought it because I wasn't sure what damage was being done. Right. Yeah, that's So fair. I think that's, that's why fair. people are hesitant. Have you guys, I bet you guys have maybe never used the Halberd. No, I, I love Halberd. Have you ever used the Halberd, Brian? I, I probably not. I, I don't think it shows items that I've have bought a help. zero use. I, I'm no, seeing I ones that so. are like one. I can honestly say in every game of Dota I've ever played, I've maybe bought three BKBs. Ugh. Tell me what you've bought one of, <laughs> Brian, on your list. What have you only bought one of? Well, this doesn't make any sense. Slippers of Agility? I've bought that item many so, times. Well, yeah, but you end the game with it just once. It's, Dota buffs uh, only going to give you when right. you end a game. I'll tell it. you what Brian never buys. Wards. Oh! oh. 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 Not um, true. We don't buy smoke. Not true. We, we do tend to forget never, about smoke a lot, though. We never smoke. I've never yeah. bought Ghost Scepter because it always confused me. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have. Ghost Scepter, Heaven's Halberd. I've probably never bought Divine Rapier. So you guys have not bought some. Maybe it's because you guys have me switch positions more often than I've bought everything. Maybe. I'm shocked that you guys haven't tried all these I've items. never bought a Scotty. Yeah. I think I'm a little ahead. Not necessarily my item knowledge, but my let's, item understanding. Let's start a new segment are. called... Uh, let's talk about how great Ben is. Ben knows yeah. everything. About yeah, him. let's start that segment. No, I'm just surprised. I was shocked when Diddy told me he had never bought a Blink Dagger. New that segment. Ben is pretty that, shocking. That's very ben surprising. buys wards. Yeah, Ben buys wards. <laughs> well, that's interesting. That's Bring a back item of the week. Call it Ben of the week and talk about how great he is. Have you ever tried something, Cheeks, that you haven't tried before? Is there any items? You uh. No, I think I might try Ghost Scepter this week. I yeah. still don't really know what it does. It sort of makes you invisible, but you can still it's, die. It's a weird I one. don't know. Yeah, it's Counter weird. that Juggernaut ultimately. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think I've even bought a Crimson Guard a couple times. So, and that's a new yeah. Item. I got one of those. Yeah, oh. I've never bought a Radiance either. Really? Oh, why would I? I think, any hero I've well, ever played. I think that it's, I think it's just because I have switched roles more often. Yeah, you guys no, have been pretty yeah. consistent in what you play, and you guys just I, I kind of I think I'm just less sucked into one particular role. I switch between like offlane or between core and support, like offlane and yeah. support ish. Yeah, but I've, I've never, I've never seen too. you like play an illusion hero, for example. No, 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 no. So that's a good point. I think those are the yeah. maybe I just have. I, I don't think I'm better at the heroes than you guys. I think you just have had me experiment with more. Maybe that's probably true. Yeah, I would agree with that. So where I, I have a crazy idea in my head and I say, okay, the crux of this is on this one hero. Who ben, can I tell ben to go play learn that it. hero? <laughs> For it's some reason, ben. it's usually me yeah. that has to go try it out. Yeah, You've been doing right. it more with Kyle lately because he's young and has time to do these things. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. Interesting next. question. And he's been more receptive, but That's I it. mean, it is, it's what it is. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Next. <laughs> next question. Let's see. Next question. Our last question. Here we go. Are you guys ready? Sure. Born ready, brother. Okay, here we go. This is from friend of the show, new friend of the show, Dandy Russ One. Dandy hey, Russ Dandy. One, hello, welcome to the welcome program. to the show. We have a couple new friends today. That's great. 
Exactly. Yeah, it's cool. It's it's new friends are all over the place. New friends abound. We have like 191 people on the subreddit. It's that's crazy. That. That's nuts. Real quick. That's we, we got to make sure we get our crap together before the rush comes for TI five. What do you oh, mean? Oh yeah. People are gonna start listening to the show before TI five oh, comes. Probably. Oh probably. Yeah, we got no we got to get our crap together. <laughs> we got a couple weeks. Hopefully. Change, change is hard, Brian. I don't know. I don't think we can do it. What? So what was the question? <laughs> I have, we have a new friend. Yet. Yeah, we do have a new friend. I'm glad about that. <laughs> So, new friends. Anyway, here we go. Dandy Russ one asks, Hi, guys. I'm very... Gen- oh, ugh, Hi. sorry. Almost fell over at my standing desk here. Here we go. Hi, guys. <laughs> I'm very new to this style of gaming, having always used consoles, not PC to play. Consoles. Dota 2 has been introduced to me through a circle of friends, and I am now, uh, air quotes, involved, albeit totally lost with a keyboard. Amen, brother. Anyways, really? I have been listening to your podcast lately and really enjoying the level of information and banter. Which is very useful to me. Wow. Pat on the, the back, banter guys. is right there. <laughs> Completely. <laughs> the banter, Heavy on the, the banter. banter is incredibly useful in my own <laughs> exactly. personal bantering endeavors. I like that. It's good. You got to know how to banter. Uh, I just uh, want to encourage you all and get in. Uh, let's see and get in the game here by asking a noobs ass noob question for the podcast. Great. Let's see. What are three things a player new to this genre can do to train themselves to a keyboard platform? Thanks, oh, guys. That's an interesting Love your work. question. So, so the switch, because I started on keyboards and I think I went to controllers. What did you, you started on keyboards too, right, Brian? Yeah, I've been. Are you? You're the more one or less the PC opposite. Gamer Were you always a PC in, person or no? I well, if we're talking early on, yeah. I mean, I, I played a lot of Half Life and Counter Strike and Team Fortress. Well, I played a lot of Commodore sixty four. Is what I started my gaming on. Right. I, Which you, that you're that, getting the gray hair. And we're here, all so way. impressed, Ben. We're all so impressed. I'm not trying to impress anybody. I'm <laughs> stating a fact. That, yes, the, you're the older com- than everyone. The, ever. co- the Commodore sixty four <laughs> had the keyboard plus. It didn't have a mouse. At least mine didn't. But it had the it had the keyboard plus. It had a oh. joystick. Button. So you had both worlds oh, going in the, the gaming thing. Interesting. Because you could use the yeah. keyboard or the joystick or both at the same time, which was kind of awkward. Okay. I can imagine. So did were you more of a console or keyboard person? So I was more of a keyboard person until I got to college when I started getting involved with Xbox Halo. and Halo. With Halo. Yeah. Getting involved mm-hmm. with Halo. And then uh, Halo and I had a brief um, kind of... Uh, flirtation. I, I think it was much more than flirtation. <laughs> It was like uh, we, we were involved. We may have had a child. Jer- Jared and I probably wow. played Halo every single night for at least two years when we were in college. Yeah. I think that's probably a it's fair like my assessment. relationship with Marana. No, it was worse than that. Wow. Yeah. Much okay. under- uh, I think I saw Halo more than you saw Marana. Much, much more unhealthy than much that. Much more sexual. I mean, I think and, then, was- and then eventually <laughs> I got into the Call of Duty scene, which... Was a, a lot of fun, which is different. But you, I mean, you had a constant LAN party at your couple apartments that you had for Halo. I actually moved into an apartment so we could have LAN. <laughs> that <laughs> yeah, you sounds did, like you heaven. Guys, you guys picked out Boomtown for the LAN potential. We were like, okay, this has four rooms. We have four TVs. Three of us. We're gonna live. Two of us live in this room. This will be a TV room. That'll be a TV room. K- couch Boomtown? in the kitchen. Boomtown. Oh yeah, Boomtown was great. It was. It was, was that the of name like, of the place. It was Boomtown? the name of the town. Well, we it was in the Boomtown Historical District. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Bowling Green. Bowling Green, Ohio. That was but also we, good for Halo. You know, yeah, we explosions. played. We played yeah. a lot of Halo in Boomtown. Yeah, it was. It was great. It was pretty great. Uh, but yeah, so I, I went from the keyboard to the console, back to the keyboard. Um, when I got involved with Halo Two, I actually built a, a PC because I was just on a laptop, specifically so I could play Halo. Right. Yeah. Or, so counter or. Counter Strike or Dota Two. Dota Two, right? Yeah. So that I, game. I think I think for transitioning, the main that thing that's different is that your your hands are using two different devices, right? That's yeah. the difference. So yeah. the joystick, they're on one device, mm-hmm. and both sides of the device are basically symmetrical. But for the you're keyboard only- and mouse, you've got the mouse that's doing one thing and the keyboard mm-hmm. that's doing another. I would say if you just practiced kind of like patting your head and rubbing your belly at the same time a bunch, you'd probably get <laughs> it figured advice. out. Yeah. <laughs> I think well legitimate done. advice. Yeah, I think so. I think practically find uh, find a keyboard and mouse that are comfortable to you. Amen. Th- these no, are better true. suggestions. And uh, something that um, something that you like. Should you he know? just wait for the Valve controller? Forget just this play, whole no, thing. no, no. <laughs> just play a lot of Dota. Steam That's how I learned. Coming out. Yeah. yeah, I I think Cheeks is onto something here. I think the <laughs> only way that's gonna that's gonna help you out here is. Uh, Play Dota or play other PC games as well. You know, play uh, you know Star. No, Masters mostly just Dota. Yeah, just play, <laughs> just play Dota. Just play Dota. 
Maybe practice the Wii for a bit first, because that's a little bit more different. So start with that one and then transition. <laughs> yeah. That's a good you got idea. the nunchuck and the wand in one hand. Yeah. And uh, an- another actual helpful thing that might might that be wasn't nice, helpful um, <laughs> is put your put your, assign your hotkeys to the bump. Is that what you're gonna say, Jerry? Well, <laughs> the bump's helpful. The F bump is nice, but no, I think the biggest thing is I, I found a mouse that I have. Uh, buttons on on the mouse that i use as well mm-hmm. yeah. and it, it that's kind of similar to the fact that like uh, you're you know using both thumbs with the controllers right. and mm-hmm. fingers and stuff yeah. so i don't know it, it's helpful for me that way i have less things going on in my left hand with the keyboard my right hand is more you know mm-hmm. responsive yeah. if you will yeah. So yeah. that's helpful for me i think me. that's good advice i think legitimate advice would be load up some bot matches and I know this is going to sound weird, but pick either Meepo or Chen or somebody who requires a lot of use of hotkeys mm-hmm. and who requires a lot of different things that are going on at the same time. Right. Yeah. And so or anyone who has four that. abilities. Yeah, you know? th- those are two examples. But just, yeah, anybody who has a little bit more going on, because if you can learn some of the harder heroes that way, and again, I would just do it in a bot match, and you're just basically just practicing movement queuing queuing things up because you know if you can push shift and then click then that queues up some uh, uh, you know kind of sets up some abilities to kind of come out yeah um and and think about like what you want to do next and where your hands are naturally going just because uh the the keys are set up a certain way you don't have to keep it that way right i mean i mine are crazy ass weird yeah, but it's what's natural it's to what me. It's what works. Yeah. yeah, and you know, it makes sense to me that my hero, if I double click on the the one, the one above, you know, the Q, yeah, that's gonna take it right to me. Right. Yeah. Like, so th- it just it's things that make sense. You and maybe be, maybe you, even practice some real time strategy games. Get some of those when they're two dollars yeah. on Steam, and those will help your keyboard. And because you have to learn a lot if you played some of the campaigns on some of those RTS games, they kind of. Some of them have some really good... I don't have a specific example, but some of them have some very good tutorials mm. where they initially okay. have you controlling one unit and then they have you controlling two units yeah. and they teach you how to you know, do something with your keyboard in terms of building buildings or something while your mouse is controlling a character. And right. I think those skills will kind of develop out of that. That's, yeah, that's a good point. My advice is find what works for you and stick with it so that you develop muscle memory. Yeah, no, that's yeah. a very good point. Yeah, it's a big part of that. Yeah, you'll, you'll get it though. It is an adjustment. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's, it's kind of like process. it's like when you and I mm-hmm. first started playing playing Halo for the first time. We're like, well, first person shooter on a controller. That's strange. Yeah, I hated it. It was really odd, and then it becomes second nature to you after some time. Right. Yeah. Going from Counter Strike on the PC, where I was oh, like, so different. controlling the WASD, like the camera with that, mm-hmm. and just being able to strafe like that. Yeah. It's it's so different to. You're initially playing Halo, and you're like looking up in the sky or on the ground the entire time, just yeah. exactly. going back and forth, not exactly. figuring it out. So it's just going to take some practice, but you'll get it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, chat room suggesting start with simpler uh, heroes that have like one active ability, like Wraith King or or uh, yeah, Viper. There's some truth. And so that, I too. say the natural progression is you start with Wraith King, then you move to Necrophos, and then you go to Invoker. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Just, three just jump steps. right into Necro. One, to Invoker. two, eighteen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Perfect. Probably not. One, two, advice. infinity. Well, hope, exactly. Hopefully there's some... <laughs> infinity, yeah, more than eight. Maybe there's some lots. useful information there. Who knows? Okay, one more question, I hope, guys. I hope. Right. Can we handle this? Yeah, I thought we were going to handle this. Is it. This is the last I'll, one. I'll power right. through. That's fine. <laughs> okay. All right, let's here we go. Here, ben. Good work. This is from N Evil Donkey. This talks about our signature heroes. Oh. I think you guys have truly established your signature heroes. Marana for Brian, Viper Medusa for Ben, Kunkka Tiny for Jared, yeah, Witch Doctor for Cheeks. Probably fine. Oh yeah. If you were designing a hat set for your signature hero, what would it look mm. like? Unique animations are allowed. Oh. Okay. oh so boy. Brian, let's start with your Marana. Yeah. Let's see. Wow, this unique is, animations are allowed, Brian. This is tough to come up with on the spot here, but um, I can imagine Marana being a. Uh, You've been thinking about this. What are you talking maybe, about? Maybe, maybe the next uh, next uh, heroine in the uh, Disney princesses line. Uh, mm-hmm. So maybe maybe she could make a guest appearance in Frozen Two. 
That's not going to happen. Uh, so we could maybe Wait, get... Tell her you even wasn't the question about, I don't even know what he's talking about. about. We're talking about hats. Well, you didn't let me finish. <laughs> animation. You didn't We're not me... talking about hope for crossover no, with you didn't, DreamWorks. You didn't let me finish. So I think it's okay. a cross-promotional set to commemorate... Is it DreamWorks or Disney? The release. It's Disney. She, oh, is that? Disney. Marana is too good for DreamWorks. That's right. DreamWorks uh, does some okay things, too. Yeah, a chance of meeples. But yeah, I can... But I can, uh, you know, some some sort of cross promotional set, uh, you know, another winter themed set to go along with the uh, snow set this year. He has maybe something kind of ice themed. So your choice is a cool. cross promotion with Frozen Two. Correct. <laughs> okay. Yeah. She okay. could be she could be the next big Disney star. She could. Okay. Okay, so sort of an Elsa looking thing. Yeah. Why not? Okay. Uh-huh. Well, it would be maybe. Uh, Elsa's she should get. She should get one of those. It should be one of those Elsa hats that has the trucker cap that has the long. <laughs> this is frozen on it, <laughs> and then the long blonde pony. But don't take. <laughs> but so don't funny. take away her uh, her brown hair. That's part of the charm. Is the, I know that's part of the thing. Is the brown hair hanging out around? She could be there like a go. long lost cousin or something. Yeah. There we go. Truly frozen. Truly frozen. <laughs> that's a pretty bad response. <laughs> Well, at least looked. you've come to the self-realization that it was, so that's good. Exactly. So, Ben, what's your Viper set going to look like? Well, <laughs> it sounded like two heroes were named, Medusa and Viper. Uh, let's, I want Viper, since he has no well, items. you're not letting me answer the question the way I want it. Well, so, no, I want, I want you to do Viper. My, you got to do Viper, Well, ben. if you, you let me Viper. finish, <laughs> the answer to the question is you've got Medusa, but her snakes are instead miniature versions of Viper. Oh. oh. Uh, so that truly is signature. That's I like very it. signature. I like, it. Yeah. I like it. I approve. So okay, grown. But there we I go. Approve. Does each one have wings too? Oh, of course. And spit That's venom. Cool. And spit venom. Yeah. And spit Obviously. venom. Okay. It gets real Fancy. Gross. It gets really gross. <laughs> for the split shot, that's what happens. Yeah, for the split shot, it's just all the venom. So she does her it's arrow, the... and then there's venom things that get mm, added to that's it. Perfect, they, yeah. just the, that's perfect. That's special the, animation. Yeah. Just the animation, not yeah. anything else. Here's yeah. poison in your eye. In your eye. It's not really poisoning though, because she doesn't have poison. Yeah. Well, orb of venom, but... And maybe Dwarf, maybe for her. Dwarf uh, SC made a uh, Marana joke. I haven't played Marana. Let it go. Uh, arrow hits across map. Techies in the jungle. I haven't played Medusa. <laughs> See, there you go. <laughs> See, it's perfect. It's her, perfect. her little snake move that that steals mana and stuff. She could actually yeah. throw one of the vipers, and he could go and oh. sh- run through people and come back to her. There you go. Okay. I'd tear it. Tear it off her head. Yeah. Just well. Yeah. It will come back. Tear, like it, she's, tear it off. Because it's not. It's, the vipers aren't in her head. The vipers oh, they're floating are like around. Her, they're in, Obviously, they're in her crown, right? So she like oh, okay. tears one out from her crown. She throws it into everybody. It comes back, and she kind of like so it's suck, mystic viper. She sucks the venom out of it, and she puts it back. It's a mystic viper. Okay, oh, this okay. is getting pretty uh, brutal. Yeah, it's it's, getting, it's right. gross. I told you it's gross. You guys wanted uh, to know. Jeez, Pete. Do you have one, Jared? I don't know. What? What? But tiny or kunkka? Oh, I get a choice. Yeah, <laughs> I'll let you choose. Ben didn't get to choose. You get to choose. <laughs> I think I, I think your heart's with Tiny. I'd like to. I'm gonna choose Tiny. For All right, you. Um, Grand Canyon Tiny. <laughs> Grand Canyon need. Tiny. Yeah, no, I'd like to see something. Um, well, he has the magma. I was gonna say in the red theme. Um, but what like, if you went real extreme with it though? Like molten magma, Tiny. Well, that he has a red magma set already. Kinda. Oh, he does. Yeah. Oh, well, never mind. Um, yeah, but animation wise, I'd like to see Avalanche actually have snow, like. Legit oh, snow. Oh yeah, that'd be yeah. kind of neat. So maybe add that along with the uh, the ice one that has that's going on right maybe now. Maybe a cross promotion with Murata. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, <laughs> the snow, the honestly, snowman from from uh, Frozen, huh? Yeah, that'd be perfect. That'd be great. Yeah. Uh, no. Voice by uh, Bearclaw from New Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Bearclaw. Um, but actually, looking like. Uh, what would you change the tree into that he carries around when he has eggs? Oh. Uh, would, would it be something different? Yeah, I I we were talking I like about your this answer, back, That's back in the yeah, we Cheeks and I were talking about having a tiny set where he actually looks like kind of a, a broken tower. I like that. Mm. Or he's wearing broken towers. I like that a lot. Or like he kind of looks like a tower. Okay. I like that idea. Yeah. And then uh, he could have like a Another tower that he's carrying with him. I'm know, okay with that. Kind of that's fine. I'll give you that. A, that's a good answer. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. This sounds like something that. you'd like to you'd like to answer, cheeks. Yeah, I've definitely got this. Okay. I know uh, you do. My witch doctor set would be a tribute to that uh, charming, most bravest of surgeons of the 4077 mash unit, 
It would be oh, a wow. uh, a Hawkeye witch doctor. Oh, so yeah. Wearing the army fatigues. He'd be drinking a martini uh, with a red robe over him, too, bathrobe yes. tied around it. Perfect. And then, or is it a smoking jacket? I think oh, it's, it's a robe. He had that jacket, red robe. Isn't it? Yeah, it could or be either one. Maybe either one. Is he either eating, one is he eating Tony Pacos? It's a velour. And he's carrying the still on his back. So he's not eating Tony Pacos? No. He doesn't have Jamie Farr with him? No. This week on a very special episode of MASH. Exactly. Suicide. Why don't, for our younger viewers, why don't you tell people what MASH is? Because they probably don't know. It's don't on understand. Netflix. I can figure it out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Is it Netflix on Netflix? It. Okay. Yes, it is, yeah. baby. There you go. Okay. I forgot Classic. about the wonders of technology where you can find things on the internet. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Right. If you're curious, well, well, check, thank, out, yeah. check out Netflix. Yeah. Do you have oh, a, hey, let's, do you have let's a give away give this away? game. All right. Yeah, all right. Okay. This is a European ass <laughs> game for one of these people. <laughs> Who have yeah. submitted a question. Let me just put it in my hat here. <laughs> Do you have an actual Okay, hat? I'm ready. Are you ready with that uh, oh, with your mouse click? We're ready, baby. Okay, here we go. The winner of The Witcher 2 Assassin of Kings Enhanced Edition is Enhanced. Dandy Russ 1. Wow. Congratulations, Dandy Russ 1. I got time for that. <laughs> I'm okay. so excited to get two bumpers. Yeah, yeah well, that, that okay. that's pretty good. Congratulations. That's pretty excited. At least it wasn't that Neil Bog Goblin thing that you like. <laughs> I got to load that one in. Yeah, I forgot about that. Thanks, yeah. man. No, oh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, how can Dandy Russ one uh, get his get his game? From well, I'm going to reply to his uh, question on Reddit. And hey, guys, I put up a new, I finally put up oh, a new uh, thread for Noobs Ass Noobs for April and May. All right. So keep uh, keep submitting questions about Dota or something, and you might win a game keep, or something. Keep the dream alive. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, all right. So, Cheeks, where can we find you on the internet? You can find me at Cheeks of Flappin' on Twitter. On PSN, I'm C-C-H-H-E-E-E-E-K-K-S-S. On Xbox, I'm Cheeks of Flappin. And Instagram, Cheeks of Flappin. Perfect. Uh, Jared, what about you? Uh, well, We Like Dota Bets is the most likely place that I'm going to be tweeting. Correct. If you tweet um, anything, it will be there, huh? Yeah. So if uh, you're interested in that, that's where I'm most likely to be found. There you go. Right there. Cool. Ben? I'm uh, at Dota Yadneb on Twitter. Everywhere. There you have it. Uh, pretty much everywhere, yeah. Uh, you can follow Ever. me personally on Twitter, everywhere, at B-Yinger, B-Y-I-N-G-E-R. That's also my Instagram account where there's pictures of my European vacation with That's my true. wife. I'm glad you said very, that. Very, yes. very, very Did you very like nice. that comment I left on that one of that uh, big castle on the hill across the river? I didn't even see it. Yeah. I got to <laughs> I got to check. Sorry. It was, it was totally sweet. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway. I'll go take a look. Everyone is going to look at it As soon as I'm now. done here. <sighs> now people are curious. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. You can follow We Like Dota on Twitter, Reddit, YouTube, Twitch, uh, and also check out our Patreon if you want to help support the show. A little bit of money goes a long, long way. So thanks to everyone who's supported us so far. Absolutely. Thanks, guys. Uh, what else am I missing? Theme music is by Michael Edwards of the Sunrise Robot Network. And uh, I listen to their podcast, Flipping Tables, while on the plane. Yeah. Those guys are putting out Flipping a good, huh? Heck, those guys are putting out a quality show. I like those guys. It's it's good stuff. They're good there. guys. So uh thanks a lot for every uh thanks a lot everyone for listening. And uh I think that's it, right? We'll see we'll see you guys next time.